Hi, this is Bernard Carter, uh, CTO at NoMicro, and uh, what's in the lab today? Um, working on this video series of using stable diffusion on um, Intel NUC devices, um, using some stuff I found on GitHub. Um, today I actually have a Dragon Canyon NUC here. So this is an i9 um, with eight performance cores and eight efficiency cores and uh, I think 24 threads or something like that. Just to show what it looks like right here, I do have a Quadro um, adapter in here. Uh, it's actually a P4000. I'm actually not using this for the demo, nor am I using the Intel integrated graphics. Actually, this is a CPU only um, rendition. Um, I'm just gonna start it here where I describe what I did. Um, it's gonna take about two minutes to run, so probably not gonna run the whole thing in the video, but. I've installed uh, OpenVINO in a Python and virtual environment. I pulled the GitHub repo for the stable diffusion OpenVINO, um, you know, ran it just to make sure it worked, um, installed the requirements obviously uh, with pip, and then uh, I can just run it here. So right now I'm running uh, stable diffusion, right? Doing text to images um, on the CPU that's in this um, Intel Nook Elements Extreme in the back here um, on all those threads. And uh, it's going to take about two minutes to generate an image, so not the speediest. Uh, my 3080 Ti at home can do it in about 31 seconds. Um, the one I'm about to do takes uh, a little bit less than a minute um, on, a, on a big Xeon. But we're actually able to generate uh, these images in a way that was, you know, uh, you need a pretty beefy GPU and a, a whole setup to do previously. Um, just some example outputs here. Um, I did what's in the lab, and it definitely has an idea of what text is and kind of what I'm asking for. And then, you know, obviously makes some uh, great people here and some insane looking keyboards. So, you know, overall pretty successful. Um, I think what's in the lab, I, I, I don't know what this is, but definitely makes some very interesting images um, and obviously something I can run on an Intel CPU instead of requiring, uh, you know, a pretty beefy GPU, a lot of, lot of GPU memory and uh, time as well. So thank you.